The GigaNet Category 6 UTP connector provides a familiar RJ45 interface for both voice and data applications. Cable conductors are terminated on industry standard wiring blocks at the rear. Color-coded labels show the correct conductor positions for both the T568A and T568B wiring schemes. Because of its keystone design, the connector simply clips into the back of the GigaNet faceplate. Removing the connector from the faceplate is just as easy. GigaNet Category 6 UTP data cable is fully standards compliant and contains a traditional plastic pair separator for consistent crosstalk performance. The recommended GigaNet tools for cable termination are the GN561010 cable stripper, the GN561002 insertion tool and the GN561071 cutting tool. The head of the insertion tool combines a wire inserter with scissor action cutting blades. The handle contains a conductor hook and insertion blade for use during maintenance and fault finding operations. The stripping tool can be used on a variety of cable types, but for removing the jacket of GigaNet Category 6 UTP cable, only the front blade is needed. Use a small crosshead screwdriver to adjust the cutting depth of the blade so that it scores the jacket of a piece of scrap cable without cutting through to the conductors underneath. To prepare the cable for termination, use the length of the connector as a guide and score and remove a short section of the cable jacket. Cut away the nylon cord. Then open out the core of the cable to expose the plastic separator. Trim away the separator close to the cable jacket, making sure not to damage any of the conductors in the process. Position the connector with the rear of the wiring block as close as possible to the cable jacket. Then separate each pair in turn just enough to be able to feed each conductor into its appropriate wiring guide according to the chosen wiring scheme. Once all the wires are in position, pull them horizontally to allow the blades of the termination tool to cut them cleanly. Use the termination tool to insert and cut each conductor in turn. Then inspect the connector to make sure that each conductor is fully seated and trimmed. Finally, reverse the connector so that it fits correctly into the rear of the faceplate. The GigaNet Category 6 UTP 24 and 48 way patch panels exceed Category 6 component specifications and support link and channel performance in excess of 250 MHz. The panels fit industry standard 19 inch racks and cabinets 
and are very simple to install. All RJ45 ports have numerical identification as well as labelling fields with a writable surface. The ports are configured in blocks of six to make cable management easy and feature industry standard terminal blocks at the rear for cable termination. Colour coded labels show the correct pair positions for both the T568A and T568B wiring schemes. Each panel is supplied with a rear cable manager for optional use when mounting the cables. To terminate a cable on the panel, first remove approximately 30 mm of the jacket and prepare the core in the same way as when terminating the UTP jack. Position the cable and sort the pairs into their correct positions for the chosen wiring scheme. In this case, the T568B scheme has been chosen. Separate the conductors of each pair just enough to be able to insert them into the appropriate wiring slots. Use the GN561002 tool to insert and trim each conductor. Repeat the process for all the other cables on the panel. Tie each bundle of six cables to its appropriate anchoring point using the supplied cable ties. Then strap the bundles together for a tidy appearance. As an alternative to dressing all the cables from one end of the panel, the cable bundles can be divided in two and brought to the back of the panel from both ends as shown here. Another option is to attach the rear cable manager and use it to dress the cables directly from behind the panel. The GigaNet Category 6 UTP cabling system is eligible for the GigaNet 25 year system warranty. For more details of this and the full GigaNet product set, visit giga-net.co.uk